there and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the common emotional experience of frustration. With all of the busyness of life, frustration can become a frequently occurring emotion, particularly when we are dealing with competing life and work demands. In this video, I'll discuss what causes us to feel frustration and tips that we can use to decrease our frustration levels. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. So what is frustration? Frustration is the feeling of being upset or annoyed, particularly because of our inability to change or achieve something. When we experience frustration, we often forget that the cause of these feelings are often completely out of our control, and the out-of-our-control contributors to frustration often can even further amplify the feelings we are having of frustration. So what can we all do to better manage our frustration levels? Tip 1. Recognize that frustration is an emotion that often revolves around circumstances that we can't control. Understanding that frustration comes from events that occur, which do not match our expectations of what we thought would occur, is the first step in managing these feelings. It's amazing how powerful simply being aware can be. Tip 2. Don't judge yourself for these feelings. Frustration, just like any other emotion, is a part of the natural human state. The reality is that negative emotions play an important role in our lives and we don't want to get rid of them. This leads into tip three. Recognize the function of your frustrated emotional state. Do you need to change something or do something different? Eliminate or remove something or someone from your life? Or do you need to deal with other unrelated stressors which are exacerbating the responses you're having? Once we recognize the function of an emotion, it can help us know what to do differently. Finally, tip four. Identify and make small changes within the things that are within your domain of control. Personally, I find that when my frustration levels increase, it's usually because I'm feeling disorganized in life. So what I do is intentionally reduce extra demands in my life, which usually relate to non-essential or non-energizing social commitments. And I use that time to catch up on housework, do laundry, get caught up and organized with paperwork that clutters my office, and do some meal planning so that I have one less to do during the week. I also commit to no alarms on Saturdays and Sundays so that I can catch up on much needed sleep debt. We are only in charge of what we can control so do what you can and don't sweat the small things. Thank you so much for your time and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear things you do to manage your feelings of frustration. Tell us in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this.